All right, so here we go with round one. And when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way. But given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans. But which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Rock him, suck him out of the shoot here. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, pin down. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got oh. his opponent hurt very bad. Back to the feet. Oh! Oh, straight right. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh! Oh, a huge block there. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by him. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Well, he's connecting on a few hooks so far here in the round, and there it is again. So every time he goes back to the well with that hook, he seems to find the target. He does a great job of finding the placement on that shot. It is a great weapon to have. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. 45 total strikes have now landed for Rafael Dos Anjos. Dos Anjos' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Nice, nice straight punch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Dos Anjos, just where is he lands and Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Back to the feet. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Man, how about the crisp boxing and kickboxing of Leon Edwards here tonight? It's amazing how much he has improved since his UFC debut a few years ago. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. And now he lands a combination. Oh! Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Back to the feet. Oh, straight right. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this one. Oh! about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. What a fight. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible...